What's up guys and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Simulator. In the last video, as you guys know, if you watched it, we hopped into the game and we actually had to play as Freddy Fazbear himself, roaming around the pizzeria and, you know, kind of going up to the office doors and just causing havoc. But in today's video, we're hopping back into the game because it just got a pretty big update, allowing us to now play as Bonnie and Chica, and it should be a lot of fun. But of course, if you guys want to see more videos on this game every time it updates, or if you just enjoy the video overall, be sure to smash like on the video. Let's see if we can crush one like on this video. If we can crush one like, I'll be so blown away and so happy. And, uh, Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the game here. So, as I told you guys, I just got a new update along with some other pretty exciting stuff. So, we're going to be going through all of that in today's video, and it's going to be a blast. Now, the first new tab that we have here is called the band, and uh, I guess let's see what this is. So, it says the band. Oh, so it shows you every character and how they each have their own unique abilities, which is what I was hoping for. Awesome. So, Freddy Fazbear, press Z to lower your awareness quicker and move at a faster pace. Oh, wow. Okay, so he has like a little bit of a speed boost and also can hide a little bit better from this from the looks of things. Now, we also have Bonnie the Bunny. Press Z to play the guitar and make electronics malfunction. Oh, he could be very powerful. You play his guitar, the camera malfunctions, he doesn't know where you are, and then you show up on like the left door and he's gone. Chica the Chicken, Chica doesn't have a special ability. What? Wait, how does Chica, like not yet or just in total, like she just doesn't have one? I don't know what's up with that, but okay, maybe she's like really broken or really overpowered already. I'm pretty excited though for this game, because like I told you guys in the last video, I think he's going to be updating this game quite often, and you know, we're going to be constantly getting new updates, new maps, and stuff like that, so this should be a pretty fun game overall. So that's all I'll say, if you guys want to see more, show me some support on this video, I'll definitely continue to play it every time there's a new update. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and press play and hop into this. Alright, so pick your character, and we can also pick our map here. Now I'm guessing, yeah, currently there's only FNAF 1, obviously, but we do have three characters now instead of just Freddy Fazbear, and I guess let's go ahead and check out Bonnie all right because you can play his guitar and it seems like he'd be a lot of fun and pretty OP too in my personal opinion oh by the way oh wait we're booting up enter night mode no night mode installed enter mode wander and oh look the map got some updates too it looks way better like new lighting and oh what's that creepy red light over there oh yeah I forgot, I think the Night Guard is actually in the game now, if I remember correctly, and that's going to be insane. But I should bring this up right away. If you guys, if I sound different or anything like that, I'm currently super sick. I woke up this morning with like, I don't know if it's strep throat or some kind of throat ache, but it literally hurts to talk so much. But I was like, I got to get a video out for these guys today. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind if I sound a little bit weird, but I couldn't leave you guys hanging on a Saturday night. So I figure, you know what, you guys want to see some content, even if I do sound a little bit strange. So that's why. All right, but anyway, so here we are as Bonnie. On the bottom left, you guys can see we got the awareness meter and noise, which is on like every animatronic. And we can press Z to rock on. All right, let's give this a go. So oh, okay. <laughs> we just rocked the whole house, dude. Everything just shook. Oh my gosh. Let's see if anything else has been added over here. So it looks like we just got some lighting currently from what I can tell. No, like nothing new in this side of the, the pizzeria. But over there, I did see, oh, wait, what's this? What is that? These little like shiny oh it's the lights for the animatronics okay cool but over here i did see the endoskeleton so i'm wondering if that's like a hint that he's possibly going to be playable at one point i don't know let me just oh no he's creepy do i okay you are really creepy and v i am in your personal bubble right now i am very close to you look at this <laughs> he's like yo bro what's up just back up a little bit could you <laughs> Imagine the endoskeleton can't move, so he's just like forced to just stare at you like that. All right, let's get out of this room now. Hey, look, I'm gonna help you out, bro. Look, I'm gonna rock on. <laughs> that is so fun to do. That is so much fun. It's so random and fun. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, but we still we still don't have hands. All right, I wish every Amtrak had hands. That'd be so much better. Oh, Pirate Cove. Is Foxy in here? He is. Oh, he's standing on a little block in there, dude. Look, he's got his little stands going. Awesome. All right, let's go this way. Oh, wait, we got prize. I want to check out the night guard, but I do want to see if there's anything new. So this would obviously be the prize corner, but um, it looks like currently we don't exactly have any prizes. <laughs> it's obviously just like a hollowed area waiting for prizes to be put in and stuff like that, but still really cool. And then, of course, this would be the kitchen, which is currently blocked off. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way towards the office here and see if we can see who this night guard is. So, oh, what the? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I remember seeing, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, did he close the door? He did. <laughs> I remember seeing a post about this. So if you guys are confused as to why it's an endoskeleton, if you guys remember, it says that the animatronics, he mentioned this in the post, I remember seeing it. He mentioned that in, in the actual game, the animatronics see the player, like the night guard, as an endoskeleton. That's why they want to put you in a suit. So we're, since we're playing as the night, or as the animatronic, we're seeing the player as an endoskeleton, even though he's not actually an endoskeleton, which I thought that was super funny and super unique. Cause like no other game has done this so far. Like that's a simulator. So that's why it's just an endoskeleton. 
<laughs> That's moving like a rock. Like, he doesn't move. He's very firm looking. Like, he just doesn't look like he's very flexible. Look at this man. He's an actual camera. He's just a straight robot. But, uh, yeah, I guess this is, like, the current early design of him. I would like to see him a little bit different, but still, it's cool. All right, so obviously he closed the door because he saw us over here. But I think we can still get in. Yep, he just opened it. So I'm just going to walk up. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he's not going to, like, oh, my. I jump scared myself. Great. That's fantastic. <laughs> you win. What is that? The creepy noise in the background from Bonnie. Oh, that's creepy. So wait, does every character have, like, their own, like, unique ending like that? I'm guessing everyone would just have that same kind of jump scare at the end, but we should try it out. All right, let's go ahead and go to Freddy Fazbear. I didn't really get to use his ability either, but whatever. He was, he was pretty easy to get to. I mean, so far. I mean, obviously, they're going to update this, update this and make him a little bit harder and harder as the game progresses, but right now, he's super easy. All right, so if I press Z, the lullaby, it said it'll, it, like, it'll decrease my awareness, but increase my speed. So I'm going to wait right here and use it. Go, go, go. What the? I don't feel very fast at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm the same speed. Look at this. I'm already in here with him. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That'll never not scare me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so every character does have their own unique kind of like ending sound. Like his is the laugh. Bonnie's that creepy. Oh, <laughs> that noise. <laughs> it's that creepy noise. And then Chica would have something else unique. So let's try out Chica the chicken and hop into the game here. But man, my throat right now. It's going to be killing me after this video. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Like I said, all I ask, if you guys enjoy this series, leave a like on the video. Um, okay, here we go. So we got, look at this. So this is obviously who, we, who we've already played as. So Bonnie and Freddy, who we didn't get to see on stage last time. Is this, are his eyes moving? I think they are, right? Look, yeah, they're moving. They're like floating upwards. That's, are they? I literally can't tell. Yeah, they are. Look. No, I think I'm just losing my mind. Uh, leave me leave in the comments, guys. Are his eyes moving? Yes or no? I'm pretty sure they moved. Now they're not, but I'm pretty sure they did. All right? I'm not losing my mind. No way. So, he was right about Chica, though. She has no ability. If we press Z, nothing happens. I thought maybe there'd be, like, a secret that if you press it, something might happen. What are you holding? Oh. <laughs> it looked like Freddy Fazer was holding, like, a trombone or, like, a, a trumpet or something. I don't know. It's just Bonnie's guitar. It looks so funny. All right, let's go this way, though. Let's see if we can get in the office. So, she has no ability, so obviously we can't really do anything to him, but just kind of walk in and try to get... Wait, what? What? Why is the door closed? Like, look, this is how easy he is, though, I think. I think if we just stand right here, he'll, he'll eventually just open the door, and we can just walk right in, I think. Let's see what happens. Okay. No. Oh, he saw us. Okay, so wait. Yeah, look. You go into this corner, he doesn't see you anymore. You just walk right in. You were seen. What? Oh, that's new. How did, wait, how did you see me that time, but not th all the other times I was, like, straight in front of your face? What? What is that? How did you see me that time? All right, let's give it another go. All right, look, do you see me? No, that time you didn't see me somehow. Oh, that time you saw me. All right, buddy, I'll wait right here. Eventually, you'll open the door. I know you will. I've been through this a million times. By a million, I mean about twice. So, you're going to open the door. Just open it. <laughs> I wish it was like voice chat. You like talk to him like buddy. I'm not outside. <laughs> I'm not outside the door to your right I'm not outside that door. Go ahead and open it up. It's, oh, okay. Maybe there is voice chat. Hello. Don't no. Don't send me what? Hello. Oh Delayed jump scare, but we got him. I'll take it <laughs> She has that creepy noise again. They all have that creepy noise so weird so strange all right so we're gonna hop back in again though because i do want to try out bonnie the bunny's ability like while i'm next to the night guard and see what it actually does i'm hoping everything will like obviously malfunction like it says and like static will start coming out of the endoskeleton and everything will just kind of shut down but we'll find out i love bonnie's ability though his is the best because it does like such a unique effect on your screen it's just like shakes it back and forth <laughs> it's just like oh my god what's happening right now oh dude wait i just thought about something. okay so Oh, I forgot. Wait, I should bring this up too. Okay, before we get in there while our, our ability's charging up, he made a post, and I'm pretty sure it said something like, would you guys rather have like 50 animatronics where every animatronic is like kind of like the same thing, or would you rather have like a, a smaller list of animatronics, but they all have their own unique abilities and stuff like that, and they're a lot more fun? And I was like, I voted for the less animatronics option. But yeah, because I think, I mean, obviously we could have every animatronic in the game, which would be a lot of fun, but I, I could see how that would be pretty hard to do and like a lot of work, because obviously everyone would have to have their own unique uh, ability and stuff like that, which would be possible, but it would be very hard. So I, I voted for the like less animatronics, but more fun, you know, more replayability, more objective, stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that's what ends up getting done here. But all right, so we're going to look through the window here in a second. Wait for it to turn. Okay, now press Z. Did that do anything. Both of his doors. 
<laughs> Both of his doors are closed. That did nothing. Hello? That did nothing. Look, he's still like roaming around. He doesn't care. Hey, buddy, I'm coming in. Don't it's just me. <laughs> I was seen, but I still got the jump scare him. Oh, my God. Oh, the creepy sound effect again. It, it has to happen. It just has to. It has to do that sound. What's that noise that, that music from, too? Is that from Ultimate Custom Night? I know that music from one of the FNAF games. I don't, I don't know which one, though. It's either that or FNAF 6, but I honestly don't know. All right, now, the last thing I want to do here is I want to hop back in as Bonnie the Bunny, and I want to just make it to 6 a.m. and see if anything happens. So we're just going to explore everything, check everything out, and try to make it to 6 a.m., and then obviously go from there. Give Endoskeleton a costume, property of Freddy Fazbear Entertainment. I just noticed it said that. I, I, you guys should probably pause that and see what that says on that screen right there, because I feel like it probably has like some interesting stuff. But from what I saw at the bottom, it said like give it, give the give the animatronic an Endoskeleton. So that's why we're attacking the Night Guard because he's not an actual Night Guard to us. To us, he's an Endoskeleton, a bare suit that just needs a, a, you know an animatronic suit on him. Which I would like to know what suit we're actually putting on him. That would be an interesting Easter egg, like or as an objective. Like every animatronic has their own unique suit that they have to go to like the back room over here to actually grab and then bring it to him. That would be fun. Like there could be like a secret animatronic in here. Like oh, who could it be? Like no, not spring trap. Like a spring bonnie costume or something like that. Where like you have to go back here, grab it off the wall, and then walk all the way over to him, and it like slows you down, but like you get bonus credits or something like that. Like there could be like a credit system they can use like on the shop or something like that to unlock you know I don't know random abilities or stuff like that. That would be so cool. Like, imagine you just go back here, spring money costume right here, all on the wall. It's maybe got, like, some stuff on it, some red stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, I can't say the name. But uh, you grab it off the wall. You bring it over to him, and you walk slow. So, like, you've got to be very careful not be seen by him. And then you have to have, you know, like you actually get a cutscene where you put the suit on the night guard. That would be insane. I don't know, man. Maybe that's just me, but that would be so much fun. Oh, I forgot. We never checked out this closet right here. Did he add anything else in here? It looks like there's shelves in here. I don't know if those were there before, but there's shelves now. All right. All we're missing in here is like a broom and a bucket <laughs> and some posters, maybe. All right. So the night guard is right in here, obviously, as you guys know. Look at this. This guy's blind. Where are you? Oh, what? All right. He sent me back to the dining area. I guess he heard me say. I I'm pretty sure there is voice chat, dude. <laughs> He turned me say everything. I say he's blind. He turns around and instantly sees me and sends me back to the dining room. Okay, he's looking around now. Why is that light green? There's no way you see me. There's just no way. Okay. So wait, if it's green, does that mean it's okay to walk in front of him? Or if it's red? Look, it's green. Hello? Do you see me? Oh. Okay, so if it's green, you send if you if it's green, he closes the door. If it's red, he sends you back, right? I think. What? Why are you closing that door? What are you doing? <laughs> Why did you just close that door? I'm not even at that door. I'm over here. Okay, wait. I want to touch this. All right, so we're going to get him to open it. Okay, let's see. Red light. Yeah, see if it's red. Okay, you can see. If it's green, it means it's on cams or something like that, I'm assuming. All right, so we're about halfway through the night here. I do want to see what happens if we get to 6 a.m. I'm assuming nothing, but I want to find out anyway. So we're just going to kind of keep exploring until then. But uh, it looks like over here, obviously, Fox, I want to get in here, bro. You're going to be playable eventually. Look. All right, I didn't unlock <laughs> I thought maybe if we if we did like a little drum or a little uh, rock on, you know, guitar solo, he might unlock, but no, he's still locked in there. What about you guys? Oh, you know what would be really cool, though? If you could somehow activate these other animatronics as, like, AI and get them to, like, walk around and do stuff, too, like, as, like, a distraction. Maybe, like, on easy mode. You could have, like, them on, too, and they'll, like, roam around, do their own little thing. And, like, as long as you stay out of their way, they'll kind of, like, just stay out of your way, and then you can eventually make your way to the night guard. I don't know. That would be super fun. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go this way again. I'm just going to try to just get a little bit closer to him. What's up with that creepy light? It looks like one of the lights from uh, the little um, the, the alarm clock from We Happy For You, if you guys remember that that game. I got, like, the collection edition. It came with, like, a light that looks just like that, or an alarm clock, I should say. All right, so what are you doing? I'm just going to... Hello, green light. Green means go. Yeah, literally, if his light is green, you can just move right up to him. <laughs> press C, does that do anything? I don't think it does anything to him. I don't know. It says that it, like, malfunctions his electronics, but look, like, they, it looks normal. Like, it looks like he's just doing everything he was doing before. I literally don't think this does anything. All right, look, I'm literally going to stare right at you, right? I'm going to press this button, and we're going to see if it does. Actually, wait. I'll wait for him to be looking at me like that, and then I'll press it. All right, and we'll see if it does anything. All right, so come on. It's almost back up. And, okay, I got it. So we're going to stand right in front of you, wait for him to watch us, and then we're going to use it. I'm going to Oh, what? Do you have eyes on the side of your head? Dude, you are an endoskeleton. How did you see me? <laughs> he literally saw me out of, like, his peripheral vision or something. I don't know. 
That was so weird. All right, open the door, bro. Open. I'm not here anymore, I promise. Open it. There we go. All right, so we're going to wait. Look at me. Look at me. Come on, use it. What? That does nothing. <laughs> I'm convinced they're just they're, they're like placeholder holders right now. They don't actually do anything. I don't know, cause that that should have definitely done something to him, right? I don't know. I guess not. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? You want to just yeah close the door or not? Just leave it open, you know. <laughs> just leave it open. I wonder, did he recreate these posters in here throughout the pizzeria? I feel like he might have, cause they look a little different. But I don't know. Like he changed something about them, whether it's like the border or the size. Something about them looks different. And the posters in there, we haven't really been able to check out. But wait, what the? Why? Oh, that's a reflection off of that one. I was like, wait, why is Chica over there beside a, <laughs> a speaker? <laughs> it's a reflection off of that one. All right, so we got like, what is that? Like 40 more seconds until we actually get to go in here and see what happens at 6 a.m. I'm assuming nothing happens, but like I said, we got to check. Okay, how did you? How did you see me? I was in the closet. I literally, that is my closet. I own that closet. <laughs> That is, like, literally known as Bonnie's Closet, and I guess not this time. All right, whatever, bro. You can have the closet. I want to get on this guy, though. If he's a playable animatronic, that'd be super fun. But it looks like there's really... I feel like, yeah, this isn't, like, the full, you know, back room completed. Because there's supposed to be, like, Freddy, um, Fazbear heads, Chica heads. Like, all of them are supposed to be in here. I think the only animatronic who's not in there is, like, Foxy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and press get. Because obviously, we've got nine seconds. We're going to see what happens. I'm assuming... I don't know if there's, like, a new you lose screen, like, from last time. Or if it's just going to be the same thing. But, I mean, it's fine anyways. we got to explore. 5.59. So, obviously, the night guard won here. 6 a.m. There we go. And we lose. It'd be cool to have, like, a little cutscene of, like, it turning daytime. And, like, we go back to performing for kids or something like that. I don't know. That'd be fun. Um, but, yeah. So, it looks like that's currently the game in its current state. Um, overall, I have been having a pretty good... Like, I've been having a good time with this game, for sure. Like, I, I love that this is, like, a, a, a simulator game that's been taken, like, very seriously. And it's, like, constant updates and stuff like that. And it seems like it's really going in, like, the right direction. Um, I'm actually going to read off the newest update that he just posted. So, this is, this is what came out today. And it says version... Actually, it might have been yesterday. Version 1.0.2 released. Hey, band members. She's a bird that likes to eat. Version 1.0.2 has been released. And it includes the following changes. So, he added in Chica. Updated character images. Fixed most of the bugs regarding the night guard. So, I I guess there was an update before this one when the night guard came out but i didn't play it i'll be monitoring this and fixing bugs as they appear and added a few map changes started to decorate and that was his current like last update so i'm assuming we might be getting another one tomorrow or maybe on monday or who knows when honestly but yeah i don't know i think if if we were to get another update he's probably gonna finish off the map and maybe add in foxy and the endo maybe at least foxy you would think and then start working on FNAF 2, FNAF 3, and then kind of go from there. Like, you know, take every game, um, you know, at its own pace. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I need to go take something from my throat and probably get some sleep. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.